Hi guys, this week's video is going to be a little different. I've got some great ideas for some upcoming videos, but due to some schedule issues, I needed a filler video for this week, so I concocted this new series idea. This idea didn't quite fit into my quick tip series format because it isn't exactly for the average Joe. However, I still intend to make it entertaining and accessible for the average Joe. This series is going to feature day in the life story time style videos and as always it will feature a healthy dose of humor along the way. The topic of this first video doesn't exist yet on the internet, therefore I felt it was my personal obligation to remedy that. So let's get into it. So I've mentioned a long time ago that I work as an industrial electromechanical maintenance technician. That's a mouthful. Basically, I fix things. Lasers, robots, toilets, whatever's broken. It's a glamorous job. Anyway, when I first started, one of my first tasks was fixing welders because the guy that normally fixes them ran himself over with his car. So he was gone for a while. Well, he's back now, but I still fix welders sometimes. So the last couple of days I've been working on a Fronius welder. A Fronius Transpulse Synergic 4000 MV to be extremely specific. Now, Fronius welders are like the Ferraris of welders. Seriously, they cost about as much as a brand new car. Well, maybe a really nice used car. So there won't be any show and tell for this video, but I'll do the best I can. Anyway, Fronius welders are really amazing machines. Way better than Miller's. Oh man, I just went there. Now everybody's gonna hate me. I'm just saying guys, for every one Fronius in our repair area, there are like 10 Miller's. Just saying. Okay, enough controversy. I'm done guys. Oh yeah, and Fronius parts are a lot cheaper than Miller parts. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done for real. So even Fronius welders break sometimes, you know, entropy. Anyway, this particular welder was supposedly repaired a while back and was sitting on our good rack. I grabbed it to swap out another welder that was having issues. We use Fronius welders with our welding robots. You can store different welding programs in the welder and access them from the robot controller through an interface device. When you swap out one of those welders, you have to download the programs back into the new welder. Now, here's the problem I discovered with this repaired welder. When we went to download the program into it, it seemed like it downloaded fine, but it wouldn't weld. On the panel of the welder in the left display, it usually shows like wire speed or amperage or some other parameter for the job currently selected. But in this case, it was just throwing three dashes. What the heck? I went ahead and grabbed a different welder to swap in and took the repaired welder back to the shop to look at. My initial thoughts were either it had bad connections or it had an issue with the circuit board that stores the programs. I'm not going to go into super detail about how the welder works and what all I did. Fronius has plenty of manuals available on their website that explain all the boards and their overall function and I don't want to bore you guys to death. I will mention though that they have this software called Service Module and it's all in German. So I had to learn German to figure out that it's not what I needed. I love my job. Anyway, the main controller board in there, the brains, if you will, I like doing quotation marks today, is called the UST board. It handles all the communication within the welder. Initially, when I looked at it back in the shop, I couldn't even connect to it. It wouldn't even show up on the computer. So I went ahead and swapped out the UST board. And once I did that, I could connect to it again. So I was like, yay, maybe I fixed it. Nope. I still had the same three dashes and in the laptop software it showed an error saying no job selected. Well, after checking all my connections and trying some other stuff, I'll spare you the ugly details, I started thinking. Oh man, thinking. It's hard work, guys. It seemed to me that maybe there was a license issue or a firmware issue at the UST board. Well, I checked the firmware version of the UST board and it had the most up-to-date firmware. So me, being the logical guy that I am, decided to install the exact same firmware back into it. Seems legit. I'm a professional, guys. I literally get paid to do my job. Anyway, voila, the welder started working again. Easy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't leave just yet. If you happen to be here because you are addressing the same problem with one of your own welders, I should note that the other guy that usually repairs the welders had done a factory reset earlier on this particular welder. You do this by holding down the store button for two seconds. 
He said you need to do that whenever you swap out the UST board and you need to delete all the existing programs. For everyone else, my average Joes and electrical beginners, I've tried to keep it short and entertaining. I know when I was in school learning about this stuff, I would have liked to see videos like this that help connect the dots between what I was learning and what I'd actually be doing on the job. So I have a very important question for you guys. What did you think? If you'd like to see more day in the life story style videos, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm on the social medias now, so go ahead and find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links will be in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and jingle the bell for new notifications, because bells are meant to jingle. This is Life Meet Lightning, here to bring a little lightning into your life. Boy, remind me to tell you about that bathroom explosion someday. Now that's a story.